As a staple ingredient in cooking, salt is a fundamental component in almost every dish. I wasn't actually aware that the traditional farming methods used to make Balinese sea salt were under threat due to modernisation. This very unique way of farming is somewhat of a dying art and unfortunately it's very possible that after a few generations it could be completely lost. For years we've been buying large quantities of salt from local markets and while this is a great step to supporting local trade, I really wanted to build a deeper connection to Balinese culture and explore other opportunities the island has to offer. As we ventured further away from local markets, I headed to North Bali. It was here I met Tamade, a local salt farmer who actually had Balinese pyramid salt. I wasn't aware that this salt even existed in Bali, and this was great because normally we would use imported salt from England, whereas now we're able to use a high quality salt that's sourced locally. This is divided by four step, four pieces this one. So this is for rolling, rolling using this soil. Yes. Yeah. And after this is already pouring the seawater, then the whiting around one day, and after dry, the mooping. Move to the next yes. square and put more water. Start that process there. Yes. So after dry, this ground mooping here, the palmer will be making hard manually. Packing. Yes. That place is, we call here is a tinjong in Balinese. Yes. That place is function for filtering seawater before drying in coconut tree. Okay, so this is the palm tree, yes, to keeping the seawater after waiting one night from the, the filtering place, yes. The, all of the seawater will come down here, so in the morning, the seawater will be drying in the coconut tree. The more I learnt about the salt making process, the more I loved it. For me, it became less about finding a new supplier and more about preserving the dying art of traditional Balinese salt making. Should have bought spoons, tasting spoons. So the seawater from there and drying here, and this is will be harvest around the pipe clock. And they scrape it out? Yes, and after harvest they put in here around one night. And this is just stage one of the salt, then you take it to the processing? Yes. So this is the process of the song. So the hard work <laughs> is here. Yes. This soil from the palmer we're drying here in the glass house. From this raw material, we make the pyramidian. The pyramidian, we, we mix the local soil. This one is with the fresh water from the mountain? Yes. Like this, this is the second day, and then after three days, they will be growing. So from, from ocean yeah. to plate, how long? The, to be the finish, to like finish? this, is around one month and a half. One and a half months? Yes. Okay. How long have the farmers been producing salt for on this farm? Around the seven generations, this one. Seven generations. Yes. All the salty inside of the seawater. This whole process didn't happen overnight. It's really been months in the making. I had no idea that something as simple as salt would become more than just a component in our dishes and really become something that I wanted to talk to the guests about. Now that I know more about its history and its farming methods, I'm really honoured to be part of its preservation for generations to come.